Hello, it's Leslie Fightmaster. I had a few requests for this class today. This is a kind of a gentle flow class or an e kind of an easier routine for our moon cycle or PMS or just when we have a need to take it down a notch. So this one will be a little more relaxing. Um, also, I wanted to let you guys know that I was in the middle of a three-day cleanse when I made this video and then I just finished the cleanse yesterday and um, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm going to give you information about the cleanse that I did because they have been so kind as to give us a 55% discount off the cleanse, which is awesome. Um, the other thing I was going to tell you is if you are interested in teacher training or if you want to deepen your practice, I do teach teacher trainings here in Southern California. I'm also available to come to you. So if that's the case, leave me a comment. So starting here in child's pose, my knees are a little bit wider than my hips and I'm resting my head on my hands as I breathe here. And then we'll come up onto the hands and knees with wrists under shoulders and knees under hips. And then inhale a couple rounds of cat cow. Bring the heart forward, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. As you exhale, round your back, lift your belly, lift your ribs. Inhaling to come forward, broaden the collarbones. And exhale, round the back, lift the belly. And inhale again. Coming through heart, through the gates of the arms, and as you exhale, lift your belly strongly, press away from the floor around the upper back, and then come to neutral. Lift your right leg up, lift it from the inner thigh, but keep the knee bent. Reach your left arm forward to balance. As you exhale, bring your knee in, bring your elbow into center, rounding the back. As you inhale, lift up, outer hip down, belly still lifted. Exhale, and draw it all in. Inhale and extend. This is great to strengthen the back, which sometimes bothers us that time of the month. Exhale, rounding the back. Inhale and extend. Keep the knee bent. It also gives us a nice hamstring strengthening. Exhale. Inhale and reach forward. Keep the belly drawing in. Exhale, round your back, elbow toward knee, and then we'll set it down for the other side. So as you inhale, you'll lift your left leg up and your right arm forward, keeping the belly lifted, dropping the outer left hip down. Exhale, round your back, bring everything into center. Inhale to extend, but keep the knee bent. As you exhale, draw it all in. The belly lifted. Inhale to reach. And exhale, round the back, lift the belly. Inhale, extend forward, keep your breath nice and steady. Exhale, bring it all into center. Inhale, reach, keep a nice steady gazing point if you have any balance issues. Exhale, draw everything in and set yourself down into child's pose. Hips back to the heels. If that's uncomfortable for you, you can always put a blanket between the backs of your thighs and your calf muscles. That'll give you a little less pressure on the knees. Also, you can play with the width of your hips or I'm sorry, the width of your knees, wider knees get into the hips a little bit more. Then reach your arms forward so your elbows and wrists come off the mat and stretch back into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, feet hips width apart. And then just begin to bend one knee and the other to bicycle your legs, still lifting the belly and stretching out your spine. Reach your heels toward the floor, although they never have to touch, and firm your quadricep muscles. If you need a bend in the knee, that's fine. Look to the hands, bend the knees, stepping the feet forward. On your inhale, come up halfway flat back. As you exhale, fold forward, and then we're gonna pause here and hold the opposite elbows. And forward folds are again very calming, during um, that time of our month and it helps also with cramping. So it's a nice forward fold here. You're welcome to bend the knees. If your legs are straight though, firm your quadricep muscles because that'll protect your hamstrings. Check where the weight is in your feet. Chances are it's towards your heels. So shift it toward the balls of your feet to make it more even. 
and keep your belly lifted slightly. You don't want to pull it in super severely during your moon cycle. Let your head just hang down, hands to hips. Inhale, come up with a nice flat back and all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms out around and up and exhale, take them back down. And again, inhale, circle the arms up, just getting the prana moving, the energy moving, soften the shoulder blades as you reach the arms, exhale, and lower down. Inhale, take your arms up. Notice my palms are up as I go up. That's better for my shoulders. This time we'll exhale and fold forward into Uttanasana, forward fold, hips over heels. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, step back plank pose, knees to the floor, shift forward about an inch and hug your elbows in as you exhale lowering to the floor. Untuck your toes, inhale for baby cobra, press all your toes down into the floor, bring your chest through, exhale press up to the knees, tuck your toes and lift up and back into downward facing dog and breathing here for a little bit. If you still want to bicycle your legs then still do that and of course anytime you want to break take your knees down and rest always your option. So to the knees, we'll come back into child's pose. Just a nice gentle child's pose with the arms extended in front. And then inhale, coming up, we're going to lower down into a little cobra and Peel the chest through. So we lowered a little chaturanga with knees on the floor, then back to the knees and tuck the toes, stretch all the way back into downward facing dog. So we're gonna do that a couple of times. So if the first time it didn't really make a lot of sense, don't worry, we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna take ourselves back into child's pose for a couple of breaths. So when we come up onto the knees, the knees stay on the floor, lower down your chest, maybe your chin, and then peel the chest up for cobra. Keep your belly pulled in slightly. And then as you exhale, come back to the knees and tuck your toes, lift your hips, and stretch all the way back into down dog. So it's just a nice little vinyasa, little variation on the sun salutation that's a bit gentler. And from here, walking the hands back to the feet, and this time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. If you want to fold into a deeper forward fold, so I've got my heels, backs of my calves I'm holding, and that takes it deeper, or you can do what we did before, holding opposite elbows. And again, forward folding is very good. So we're going to walk it back out into down dog, and then to plank, lower knees down, chaturanga to the floor. As you inhale, we're going to take Shalabhasana pose, locust pose. So press all the toes down and then lift up. Inner thighs are spinning up toward the ceiling. Lift the shoulder heads, keep the belly lifted. Look a little bit forward of the mat so the back of the neck can stay long. We don't need to crunch the back of the neck. And then exhale, lower down, make a little pillow with your hands to rest. And these poses are also good for all of the inner organs. Okay, back up again, inhale. Keep the belly lifted, lift the shoulder heads, keep the reaching through the toes, back of the neck long, and then release down and take the other ear down to rest. So things that you should always avoid during heavy flow times in your cycle are um, inversions. We don't wanna do any inversions like headstands, handstands, shoulder stands. So we're going to reach for the pinky toe sides of the feet now for Dhanurasana. As you inhale, lift up through the feet, maybe press them back a little bit. It's important to keep your belly lifted to protect your low back. And again, just looking down slightly so you want to look up and crunch your neck. Exhale and lower down. We don't want to crunch our neck in this one. So taking a rest, maybe your heart is beating a little bit more. The blood is definitely pumping, which is good for us. Lots of water this time is also good. Bend the knees, reach for the pinky toe sides of the feet. And again, lifting up, pressing the feet back slightly. Keep the belly pulled in. Inner thighs are spinning up. And breathing into the chest. 
and then lower down and rest. Hands by your rib cage to come up, then press back into your child's pose. So again, hips to the heels, taking a few breaths here. Looking forward, we'll come forward here and tuck the toes, make your way into down dog, stretching back again. Press your thighs back. As you root down into the base of your fingers, lift up through the forearms, and then slowly again walk your hands to your feet, another forward fold, hold the opposite elbows, gently rocking side to side. And again, check where the weight in your feet is. We want it even, so you probably need to shift it a little toward the balls, of, <clears throat> excuse me, through the balls of your feet. Slight lift in the belly. And then looking forward, we'll make our way back, downward dog, and then stepping through to sit. And taking the legs wide and taking your right arm in front of your right leg, lift your left arm straight up. So you can stay right with this, or if you can reach the foot, but still keep your chest moving up toward the ceiling, then you can. Otherwise, if you're rolling forward, it's better to just keep the left arm up so you can get that nice stretch through the side body. So it's a little bit of a twist. Another thing that you want to avoid during moon cycle are deep twists. You don't want to take any really deep twists. That's not really good. Come on up on your inhale. And then sit up nice and tall, left hand to the inside of the left thigh, reach the right arm straight up. Reaching tall through the right arm or reaching for the foot. Keep your toes and knees pointed up toward the ceiling and keep your leg muscles firmed. Outer hips are pinning in. And a, you can slightly lift up through the pelvic floor as long as you don't feel any discomfort like in, in a cramping way. And inhale, coming through. And then forward folding. So any amount, um, hinge from your hips and keep your spine nice and long. So I'm here on my, my elbows. And then I decided to go in a little bit deeper. You do what's best for you. You can also sit straight up if you feel a good stretch that way. And just stretching out, breathing through the whole back of the body. Inhale, and walk yourself back up. And then we'll extend the legs in front for Paschimottanasana. So reach up on the inhale. As you exhale, fold forward. Hold your legs or your feet. Lengthen, inhale. As you exhale, again, coming forward. Try to minimize the rounding in the upper back. So instead of um, letting your head drop down toward your knees, you'll want to reach the crown of the head toward your feet and try and bring your chest and your heart through toward the front of the mat. And then really take some long breaths in and out through the nose. Always imagine that the breath is traveling up and down the spine. Inhale, lift your head and exhale to release. So I'm going to set up for Shavasana. I have a bolster and a blanket. You can use whatever you have around. You can pile up some blankets. I also have two blocks. You can roll up blankets for that too or use um, towels. And then this is a yoga strap and if you don't have a yoga strap you can use a regular belt. So I put the yoga strap around my waist and then I sit right up against the bolster and then I'm going to slide the strap over my feet. So they're on the bottom part of my feet, the, the part that's facing the floor. Now I want the strap very low across my back and then I have these blocks underneath my thighs and then I lean back into pure heaven actually. This is one of my favorite poses called Supta Baddha Konasana and I like it with the strap because it really helps me to relax. So 
take some time. You can always hit the pause button and get this one set up. So you can take some time to really get comfortable. And then once you are comfortable, just relax. Try to release any tension, release any thoughts, release any desires, and just be. And while you're here, I have our quote for this class this week. I found this on Linda Ananda's Google Plus page, and I liked it so much that I copied it down. And this is from Atisha, who was a Tibetan Buddhist monk and teacher that lived about hmm, 1,400 years ago. The greatest achievement is selflessness. The greatest worth is self-mastery. The greatest quality is seeking to serve others. The greatest precept is continual awareness. The greatest medicine is the emptiness of everything. The greatest action is not conforming with the world's ways. The greatest magic is transmuting the passions. The greatest generosity is non-attachment. The greatest goodness is a peaceful mind. The greatest patience is humility. The greatest effort is not concerned with results. The greatest meditation is a mind that lets go. The greatest wisdom is seeing through appearances. And I wish all of those for each one of you. So without a whole lot of disturbance, I'm going to try to remove the strap if you have one from your feet. And then just cross your right shin in front of your left shin as if, as if you were sitting in a simple easy pose. So the shins are crossed. And just take a couple of breaths there. And then switch the cross with the other leg in front. Couple breaths here. And then I'm gonna slowly roll over to the right side a breath or two here, pausing for gratitude for all of our blessings, and then slowly press up to seated to close our class. So sitting up nice and tall, take a moment here honoring, respecting yourself for all the wonderful things you are. Hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. And hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. I hope you enjoyed it. And I also want to thank Chef V at Green Drink Delivery for the cleanse. It was, I feel really good. Lost a few pounds, more energy. I'm going to give you that information. And again, if you're interested in teacher training, please leave me a comment. Please subscribe, tell a friend, and I want to thank you so much for all of your donations. Have a wonderful day. Bye.